Anyway, I'm just going to let both of you guys know that between recording sessions, I went ahead and beat the game twice. <laughs> I, oh I went ahead and practiced on the, on the uh, Let's Play file. I made a new save file for that, for practicing, and I beat the game twice. <laughs> watch watch, watch as the fucking... Like, um... Yeah, watch as the recording curse lands itself upon yeah, my body. Yeah, the Let's Play curse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going to be hilarious if it happens. Anyway, welcome back to DMC1. We are... Essentially, in the second third of the game now, and is... oh, we're started. We started the recording. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been started. Welcome back to D. Welcome back to Jank May Cry One, aka my what? favorite of the Jank May Cry How series. How the fuck do you know Dante. these things? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't yeah, even. Again. I didn't even know there was orbs up there. <laughs> Friendly reminder that Legon just keeps skipped twice. Oh yeah, I did that for practice. And also, the funny thing is, I, at work today, I br brought my Switch there too, so I also decided to practice a little bit there too. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was fun because at Suaboy, barely anyone comes in when you're working at 8 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> yeah, I want... Shocker, yeah. Shocker, during a national pandemic that you get barely any, like... Oh, you know, the funnier thing about that is that when everyone was freaking about a, out about COVID and all that, that was when we had the most business. I know, I felt the same way. It's like, some guy was like, or someone, some customer at Walmart was like, wow, you, uh, you guys really, like, must have, like, man, pandemic really must have hurt you guys or something, or something must have happened, blah, 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 blah. Like, you didn't really get a lot of people. You must be, um, you must be happy you're getting a lot more people, and we were like, no, we actually are getting way less people now than we got at the start of the damn thing. Yeah, it, it's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Anyway, to yeah, the game. But, uh, but, but, isn't it, but isn't it like a, a good thing to not get as many customers? because you know you Money-wise, no. Well? Infection-wise, yes. Infection-wise, yes. Uh, there's a few other things of... Boredom wise, sometimes it can kind of suck because sometimes yeah. it's just nice to like actually have something to do. Have some peace uh, and quiet, more like. <laughs> well, it's nice sometimes to have peace and quiet, but it's like also, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain to someone that doesn't work in retail right now. Yeah. During the pandemic. So, to go to the game, the gimmick of this mission in particular is to follow the glowing white ball in order to proceed, because if you don't do it right, you will get sent all the way back to the very beginning. It's a quote-unquote maze that is not actually a maze. Yeah. Which sucks, because the ball will just be like, ooh, enemy, let me absorb myself into its soul. Yeah, let me just go into the well, enemy real quick. To... And the worst part about it is, it's for, for me at least, is that the enemies will be able to go past the barrier of where, like how far you have to go in order to get sent backwards automatically. And when I try and follow said enemy, which can potentially have the yell the white ball inside of it as a soul or something, then I will yeah. get sent back automatically and have to do it all over again. <laughs> what fun. Yeah, right. There, there's also this section in Among Heroes where, wow. they, try to do the, where they try <laughs> to do the same thing. Jeez. And I think Wade knows what, what section I'm talking about. Where you basically are I in a forest. Hear you, dude. Oh, sorry. DMC four? No, no, no. No more heroes. Uh, oh. The, the oh, at the yeah. The at, the end of the, at the end of the game, yeah. Where yeah. Thunder Ryu points you in the direction you're supposed to go. Yeah, I think that it's that is way out. less annoying. Also, for it's some reason, I got more red orbs. <laughs> It's funny, unless I'm annoying, and then it's like, but sometimes I'll just go in the other direction just to fucking fight the enemies, because I just, I like playing No More Heroes. I, I, I like, like going in the other direction because it also gives you some rewards for doing that, which, you know, is a really good incentive for being an explorer. Even though it doesn't really matter, because it's like you're at the end of the game, but yeah, I get your point. Hey, for people who like collectibles, that, that means a lot. Yeah, true. Sometimes it means more than enough for someone who actually likes to platinum their games. Which, by the way, I never well, understood. You can't platinum because they don't really, they don't really have any trophy system on Switch. 
Yeah. They don't I, have like, a trophy system on the Switch, but there are certain games that will have pre-built achievements, like this one, actually, which pretty yeah. much the achievements themselves are copy-pasted from the HD collection. But yeah, that's the I, I, entire gist of the mission. It's over now. We don't have to worry about it. Yep. Not a bad yeah, one. Like, like, I, like I was saying... It's not bad, problem. but it's just annoying when you mess up. Some people some people yeah. just basically love completing their games. It, it's... It, yeah, it's just I'm not criticizing that. that. I, I, get, I get it. I'm not criticizing it. I'm just saying, like, I just made one comment. Like, Speaking of completionism, like, oh, secret mission. The game. <laughs> yeah. Secret mission over. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a secret mission, Zygon. I'm really, really happy for you. The gist of this secret mission in particular is that you're supposed to use the Sin Scissors here to pretty much uh, let yourself go all the way to the top oh, by jumping on top move. of them. I like using that move. Yeah, it's really fun. But really, the gist of this mission is, hey, get to a super high place by jumping on top of the enemies. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think DT in any other game had a cool thing. This one where you could just fucking turn and like the flying shit like that, like the sword. Like DMC three kind of had a little bit of it. Yeah, the closest DMC three came to it was with Nevin's DT in particular. Yeah, well, because Nevin's DT had an air raid. Yeah, I think that was the only DT that had any sort of special form or anything like that. Also, I now have one of my favorite skills in DMC1, Round Trip, which is, long story short about Round Trip, you hold down the attack button during the attack animation, charge it, and not get caught by a loading screen so that I can't show it off. Yeah. <laughs> you hold down the attack button, and then you throw the sword like a projectile. I use it a lot so that I can switch to Ifrit and then do Inferno or a different move similar to it, and it's just like, it's so much fun to combo Round Trip with other moves in the game. <laughs> Because it's, also it's one very, of very easy for that. Moves in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. What? <laughs> right. It it is also a move that Virgil does have in DMC3 as well. So you're technically it's technically it's a reference. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but let's face it. When the game when when let's face it, it's really referencing the DMC1, especially with how you have to hold it. <laughs> I mean. Well, round trip in most of the games kind of work the same. You have to hold a button. Round trip so say it's like a specific was yeah. Round trip was, was a hold mechanic until DMC five, and then they changed it to a sword. Yeah, master we're skill. yeah, we're just, yeah, and then yeah, very specific sword master skill. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. we'll get to that when we get to that because like this game in particular, I find use for it just because of the way the game itself is designed and for the future games. It's it a case-by-case case basis. It keep... Yeah, it's case-by-case. Case. In 3, it's not terrible, but it, you're better off just using your other sword master tricks and other weapons other than just relying on round trip. It's not bad in 4, uh, but there's not much use for it, because, like, Dante just is not... But, you know, you don't play as him a whole lot in 4. Also, more blades. DT makes them an absolute cakewalk. Also, this is a total situation of Capcom saying, Hey, new enemy, we're going to throw like 50 of them at you at once. And this is what I say to that. <laughs> Ow. I mean, yeah, this, is one of my, this is one of my favorite rooms, because like, I just this trick is so stupid as fuck. We've learned this in the, <laughs> in the live stream where you made me go, What the fuck? <laughs> it's like you're just jumping off the dudes and getting us... You got... You're doing better in the stream so far, to be honest, because, like, you, you were you were rocking S-rank by doing this. I mean, to yeah. be fair, Capcom always has had a habit of throwing enemies at you, like, left and right, even for no rhyme of reason. Like, remember how they literally made up one room just to introduce a new, a new type of enemy in the Resident Evil remake, which is the fucking sharks? Yeah, which, like, they, they did nothing with. <laughs> Exactly. They just, they just, they literally just introduced them so that you, so that you had some sort of hazard in the, in the, in the, in the way. It's, 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 it's just like um, it, it, it's just you know a Capcom thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, also, I love know, this another trick. Thing is literally... This is just so, yeah, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> I love it. There it is. There it is. There's the Tyler. It's so fucking dumb. Look at that. It really is, and it's even better when you have all eight of the blades that spawn in this room on this one platform, and you just kill them by jumping. <laughs> Because it's so many wow. jump that cancels is like, all I at played, once. I played, I played Super Mario today. That's how I feel. <laughs> Dante <laughs> after he plays Super da, Mario da, Sunshine. <laughs> Speaking of which, have you seen the recent places of Super Mario 3D All-Stars? No, pretty and I don't want is, to. Pretty much what? everyone has been marked. Pretty much every 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 single price. What are you talking about? Before. The physical uh, copies Super of Super Mario 3D All Star, since the game has become delisted by Nintendo, is soaring in price thanks to scalpers. Well, I mean, I have some at Walmart, my Walmart still. <laughs> dude, dude, I still, I still have, dude, I still have like some copies on my on my retail called Coppel. Coppel? Um. I am very tempted to buy it and mark up the price. <laughs> like, like no joke. Ah, uh, so you'll you'll becomes part of the problem. <laughs> da -da. Yes. It's like the sunny. The effect. video title: like the You'll becomes a scalper. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. It's like no. It's like make the sunny in Philadelphia intro, and it's just like <laughs> I'm gonna mark up the price. <laughs> <laughs> no, Angelo really doesn't like you doing that. He was a really big fan of Super Mario. <laughs> yeah, he really wants to play it on his. He really wants to play a subbar port on his Switch. Exactly. That's exactly. You know, the real the real fucking issue is the fact that people are actually buying it. I I, I bought it. I like it. I mean, it's just it's just a port. Like, there's nothing super special about it. It's just a nice port. But like, again, 30th anniversary of Mario, three of the best games in the lineup, like, nothing special could have been done at all. They could have made the, they, they could have made the emulation better. <laughs> right. Like, like, the real sad part is that Dolphin Emulator ended up making better versions of those games than the... Than the fucking, than the fucking supposed Nintendo original curated ones, which is pretty sad. Yeah. <sighs> like I don't know if it says a lot about how little Nintendo cares about their properties or about how much Dolphin actually gives a shit about about them. I don't want to say that. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, they care more. It's like, no, they just made a good port. And Nintendo's lazy. But I don't think it's necessarily because they care more. It's like they just made, you know, their dolphin just has good, you know, software. Emulation tools. Yeah. Which is cool. You know, I think that's cool. Anyway, yeah. I beat Nello Angelo again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm mean, back, back to the game that we clearly give a shit about. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, I don't blame you for talking about other things at this point, though, because this is pretty much the point of the game where nothing really it's interesting kind of happens until you kill Griffin. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, and, and we're not and we're not even going to be subtle about it. It's just, you know, it kind of does drag in this section, and it's kind of like... Yeah, this is the second third eh. of the game that is not really that fun, but even despite that, I think it has its memorable moments. For better or for worse, as we are about to see. Indeed. <laughs> I'm gonna save because this part coming up sucks. <laughs> Let me just drop all subtlety. I mean, to be honest, we shouldn't have been subtle from the, from the get-go, to be honest. This part guys, sucks, and this is why. <laughs> I'm, uh, name the part. Drop all subtlety. Because <laughs> we're going to drop all subtlety. Wow, look at that underwater control. I don't suddenly think that this is that good You cannot all. use your devil yeah. trigger. Also, I, did, I didn't actually notice that they showed this on the control scheme here, but you can see on the left here, it shows you can use the left stick or the D-pad to move. 
the thing is, if you use the D-pad in the underwater controls, it's not inverted. If you use the analog stick, it's inverted, and there's no way to change that. That's weird. It is. And like, I never understood that design decision, just why? That's what makes me wonder if it, like, uh, this is another moment in the game where I feel like there's like a lot of Resident Evil uh, carryover. Like, this this entire mission feels a lot like a Resident Evil level. Yeah, this entire you know, location, so. period. Yeah, especially with the camera angles, which we're going to see, like, right about, like... As soon as like, I get more red orbs. Is. Yeah. Because I need money. <laughs> But yeah, these are the underwater segments. They automatically put you in first person, and honestly, I don't find them too bad. They're extremely annoying, but at the same time, they're extremely easy to finish. It's, it's not that they're bad, it's just that they're annoying. There's nothing in the charge right. box except seashells. Except seashells! Seashells! Seashells, seashells, run over seashells! God damn it! God damn it! Alex, why do you have to make that joke? Seashells, seashells, <laughs> that wordplay has fucking murdered me for the longest time because so I never can get it right. Also, now we have frost to deal with on the ship before we can progress, and I don't know. Uh, I don't, I wonder, don't what, know if wonder what his weakness is. Wonder what his hmm, weakness is. I wonder what it is. It's got to be the lightning sword. Mm. Yeah, it's right? gotta. It's gotta, it's, it's gotta be the guns. Speaking of guns, this is the only gun you can use underwater. <laughs> oh, and look at that Again. item. <laughs> Another Resident Evil fucking carryover, I feel, because like you don't ever use this gun. Yeah, again. like look at this thing. Just look it's at this thing and tell Resident me this Evil doesn't game. look like Resident Evil. <laughs> well, it's like even the way it that gun looks... pop up on the screen. Yeah. Right. And there's also this little thing that this animation for each weapon that I've been skipping over whenever I change weapons is that they show you how the weapon yeah. itself works. Yeah, and that's not what makes me think it's like a part part of me with like again, there's like a lot of Resident Evil fucking carryover in this game, which a lot of people don't want to admit. Yeah. In a way. I don't understand though. I don't understand why though. Like Yeah, like yeah, it, I, 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 like um why why would it hurt to just acknowledge that it, that it has leftover Resident Evil content there? I, I have no idea. <laughs> But now I am going to show what is probably the most confusing and guide reliant blue orb fragment in the game. <laughs> like just I What? <laughs> I didn't know that it was oh my fucking god. <laughs> yep. What? Wait, what? He didn't know that about the blue orb fragment on the ship. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, so that's, that's a fucking stupid one, but because I played Kingdom Hearts 1, I always fucking climb these things now in <laughs> any game. Yeah. I have a like, ship that carries they, the wandering souls of the that underworld. That game trained me to, like, climb fucking ship masts. Like, I feel and like in lips, real life, I'm going to start doing fate? that Leaps of fate. Or like... Yeah, I'm going to go climb a ship mast in real life and jump off it. We'll see what happens. Because I'm that dense. Black. Also, another death site. They're absolutely easy to cheese if you just go into DT and spam Hellbreaker or Helmbreaker. <laughs> Hellbreaker. We're gonna break that. Honestly, hell out that of your does soul. sound a lot cooler, though. That sounds a That's lot a cooler. Cool. Yeah. That's a cool sword name. Yeah, actually. DMC six. Why? Because. A... <laughs> yeah. Get to it. Get to it. Anyway, we killed the extremely easy to cheese enemy, and now we get to ride a boat in a waterfall. And somehow that doesn't put the fire out because mystical demon fire or something. <laughs> and on our grand tour of Malay Island, we show you the grand cave of the Colosseum. And the gateway to the castle you have just arrived in. Built by Mundus himself in 739 AD, we see his pet griffin flying around trying to interrupt our tour. How dare you? How and dare thus you? We, and does and does this part became sponsored square pen? <laughs> and Griffin put out the fire because he felt like it. I'm gonna throw my sword at him. 
this is what people consider to be the worst griffin fight in the game, and I do not blame them. It is it is the worst griffin yeah, fight in the game. Fucking trash. Not only not only is it on a fucking boat that's flying through the ocean, like he sends out lightning little fucking griffins that start to track you. And like jump like like they magnetize to your thing or your, or your character so that you can like, look at that. There it is, there it is. Yeah. That little fucking griffin thing. You have to jump and like do weird maneuvers to you not have, get pelted. The out. funny thing is they're actually that thing there is extremely easy to kill with nothing but DT gun. Like just, just pop DT and spam the gun button and it's pretty much instantly dead. <laughs> is a funny thing that I right. found out after I looked this up because this is the rare point where I lately discovered about this about this game is that these things are act like that thing is extremely with gun. Like I didn't even have to go into DT to kill that. That was very fast. See, but that's yeah. the thing. See, see, but that's the thing though. Like once you find out the strategy to do like kill it and cheese it off, does it make it less annoying or does it make it or, or does it make it any? Speaking of cheesing it, it out, fun? look at this. <laughs> Yeah, right. Exactly. Jesus I was waiting for you to do that. <laughs> Please. People thought DMC2 was when the emphasis was on gun. Exactly. <laughs> this game has been about guns all along, and you just fucking thought. You thought that we weren't going to make it about guns? <laughs> you were wrong. Gun. I'm doing nothing Anyways. but popping DT and spamming gun, and I win. Yeah. Play lame, win game. Play yeah, so like, game. <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying before, <laughs> when you find that, when you find the strategy to cheese it, like does it make the boss fight less annoying? In my opinion, not, not really. Like it's still an annoying boss fight, and the only reason why you're cheesing it is because you know. Because it's, it's just annoying. that annoying to deal with in the first place that you have to cheese yeah. it essentially. 